Now that we've prevented root login to the system, it's important for us to make sure that our system remains up to date automatically. Um, and there's a there's a uh, configuration files, or at least a couple of them that we need to check and verify and potentially change for that to happen. So here I've logged in as uh, my admin user into the DigitalOcean droplet. Uh, let's head over to where those configurations are. So if you remember, we're using the package manager apt or apt in order to like do all of our, our updates. That's the same thing that's going to handle all of our um, all of these uh, sort of like updates, automatic updates for us. So we're going to go into slash Etsy or ETC apt and then take a look around. So the directory that we're going to look into is this apt.conf.d file uh, folder. So we're going to go into there. And here is a bunch of basically uh, files that are going to you know, be used by app to sort of like determine how it runs uh, in, in daemon form. So there's a couple things that we're going to verify here. First, I want to verify this 20 auto upgrades. So I'm just going to vim auto upgrades. And what I'm looking for here is that unattended upgrade is set to one. And so the one is sort of a Boolean. It could be zero or one. And in this case, it's one, which means true. Unattended upgrades are set to be active. By default, DigitOcean seems to be setting that for us, which is awesome. That does mean that it's going to be periodically checking apt and installing uh, upgrades for us behind the scenes. Now, this is going to be a reason why every once in a while you might SSH in and it will tell you, hey, uh, it's, uh, you know, time for you, like system reboot required, which is which is really nice. Um, but what if you don't want to manually reboot your system? You don't want to have to like SSH in to check to see, hey, do I need to do that? Or you don't want to like have to configure email because just adding email in might you may or may not fit like whatever security profile or you don't just want don't want to worry about it you just want it to automatically happen well there is a way to do that uh we're going to go into this 50 unattended upgrades section here uh and i'm going to actually do this as root because we noticed this file is owned by root and i only have read accesses myself And uh, we're going to sort of like poke around in here and see what we can change to sort of help out with that. So logging down a little bit, uh, some things that I'm noticing is, OK, it's going to be using, you know, auto of what what can be um, upgraded automatically. It, it's fine. Uh, let's see, there's, um, it's possible to set it so that it will try to update, upgrade all the packages on shutdown. I have noticed that there can, that can make shutdown a little bit long and make people think that it's like failing and therefore like hard, uh, shutdown, uh, Linux systems. This is a VPS, so you don't really have that option, but it can like obviously increase, um, uh, the reboot times by a significant amount if you do that. So I, I actually don't recommend the on shutdown. If you do want your system to be able to email you when updates are available, you do have to install some kind of mail system for it. And then you can tell it here, here's the email address, send me an, a message. Uh, I generally don't do that. Usually what I do is I decide, OK, I want to be able to like just either auto reboot or I'm going to set up a schedule for myself to go in and uh, check it every once in a while. Um, the, the automatic security updates already being applied is is like good enough for that. So here we go and we see if um, uh, right here automatically reboot without confirmation if the file uh, slash var one reboot required, which if you remember from our initial spinning up of the server, if that file exists, then just do a reboot right then without confirmation, just reboot. So this is something we can set to true if that's exactly what you want. Now, 
um, that may not be the behavior that you're expecting. Uh, it's it's quite possible that for for something like this, you would rather reboot on a schedule or reboot at a certain time of day. Uh, and and what you can do is you can find out like, hey, if my users are all in America, let's say, then I want to reboot at 2 a.m. New York time. Well, there is a way to do that. If you come down just a few more sections, if automatically reboot is enabled and needed, reboot at the specific time instead of immediately. So default now, but we're going to uh, unattended upgrade reboot time 2 a.m. Now, 2 a.m., I believe it's UTC. So this is something you have to play around with to find out like what exactly is uh, is the server's uh, time set to? Is it really like is 2 a.m. here what you think 2 a.m. is? Is it like 11 p.m., uh, 10 p.m., 7 p.m.? Uh, th this is going to be something that's important to figure out what exactly this time means and then set that to be appropriate. Now, I don't think anybody is really caring about this for me, so uh, I think it's, it's, it's going to be fine. Um, so let's see. And is there any other reboot that I need to look at? These are, I've searched for reboot. And this is the first time that it shows automatic reboot without confirmation. Um, automatic reboot, even if there are users currently in the system. Uh, and then reboot the specific time. So I think, I think that's all I need to, uh, to set here. So I'm going to go ahead and just sort of like leave this for right now. If I, if I ever need to like, reset um the, the basically it should start rebooting if it doesn't then uh probably just like a um uh another reboot to to basically get app to start actually paying attention to this i don't think that there's any other things that we need to check in here if you want to like look for a certain keyword like i want to look for a reboot across all of these files i can um do a grep here so uh, grep, if you're not familiar with, is a command to allow you to search through files for keywords. So let's do a man grep here. And we're going to look for, okay, so it's going to be grep, whatever the options are, the patterns, and then the file that we're looking for. So I want to do grep for reboot, and then just all of these. So star. And if I do that, we're going to see here's all of these. Uh, automatically reboot without confirmation. Um, and oh, they're all in that 50 unattended upgrades. So basically that setting that I have, I believe is all we need. Um, and uh, then then it should just start rebooting. Uh, and I think that uh, that's all we need for at. So with that, Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.